to say Frederick the Great Talent Show. Tonight's final act is Jay Nava. Jay, why don't you tell us about yourself? Well, hey, everybody. My name is Jay, and since this is the first performance of my life in the hip hopper, I thought I'd tell you about myself. I'm Jay Nava, hotter than lava, sipping on a java or the polo with the collar. Always got the flava, chilling like Bahamas. Everybody talking, all I hear is yada yada. Chasing commas, yeah, I got it. Smart and jibber jabber, jake, jabba, lava, jama. Listen in the saga, see it, pot and rhyming. Yeah, I'm living like a future, I'm a rhyming from the Vinicaba. You never stop. Another story that ain't never been told. He was shaped by the world so he could break the mold. Was a brother, son, number smart, mother, lover, ever was. I'm new to suburban, so I'm a son. It's where I grew up, a town hall, a lotus on the borders of St. Tony City. I had baked homies with me in the lotus. The form of blue lotus, focus, focus, it's a character flaw, the lack of focus. Back at the law school, they say grades. I never knew life would never give another chance to feel like a kid unless it's on a psychedelic trip. Running through the fields with my friends at my grandmother's house, we call her Rita. Short for Abuelita, feels primos and fias. I don't really speak Spanish, so it's kind of tragic. Cause I would write the baddest Spanish for you could imagine and you never catch. Cynical, critical, physical, spiritual, lyrical, that limitless intervals in the classical station my father played when I studied the magicals, animals, planets, chess, times, tables. Christian for the father of my papa's nickname and my uncle and may they rest where they lay. See you someday. Till then, it's choo choo on the J train. J baby, jet playing all J every J. J Nava, hotter than lava. Got a summer job serving empanadas. Born up the grabber. Luca ain't your father, no drama caliber. That you forgot the folk potter than the sun is full of literary yoga poses. I wrote this. Orchestral explosions. The super califragilistic and theologians. Exceptional composers. An elevated autobiographical performance. High school on the west side, the holy bull made a difference. Working on my hand, I catch all the passes, learning, jogging on piano after practice. One day I'll be a master pianist. A, a holy cross on the gravel track, holding strong. And the parts of her I'll bring along. When my best friend Ross drove me out to hip hop, now I'm feeling for the rhythm forever and ever more. Waking up every day and the biggest problem was the drama from yesterday. Yes, I do believe. In fact, I had it made and all the memories they keep living on the side of me. Look at what's inside of me. Finding out why I am this way. Similar circumstances we overcome and complicate. Look for direction, but turn around and round the back again. Life is a golden lot of paradox and an elephant. I am just a human, the music part of a narrative. Jay Nava, high the lava, straight up the frying pan into the fire. Um, Jay Nava, spice like Granada, sweet vodka vibe, stop the lava through my mind. I'm a Jay Nava, south side home, wish I was a big boy, yeah, wish I was a baller. Jay Nava, swing up the piñata, play his way on the Impala. I do it for the heart, the bars, the family, for the ones looking down the side that got me. You know, warning all my homies in the ways I need to grow and learn things. Want to get away and take these jazz and buy it. Hey, hello, D Town. Met my team in the summer before. Together we saw life take its course. And now I'm alone, where to go? I must do this on my own. To myself, I am unknown. I wrote my life into symphony poems to heal myself through the anecdotes. Jay Nava, ain't you not a rock and sock another hotter? Ain't you gotta say you're not a lot of race? All the dollars I'm up from another part of Sam. Sorry, dropping on it, got a great goal. Behold, like the enchilada. Jay Nava, her car to harmonize the hoopalala. Get you, get you, yeah, mama. Pop in the drips of karma. I'm Jay Nava, hot as lava, hotter than the supernova. Yeah, okay, we can have a little chat now about it. We can have a little chat about it now. Now, what's up, everybody? 
I surely do appreciate you guys coming out to see what this whole thing is about, man. Um, so I'm just here going to give a little explanation of what we're doing here tonight. So what I've prepared for you guys is a hip-hop one. A hip-hop pop one. Called We Lie For Real Here. This is a hugely shortened version of a concept hip-hop slash contemporary classical music album about an opera of the same name. I'll say that one more time. It's a hugely shortened version of a concept hip-hop slash contemporary classical music album about an opera of the same name. The opera is also its own standalone work, and my vision for this was to have the ability to perform it in a concert hall like this one here, or at an open mic in Austin, Texas, by myself, or with an ensemble as large as 14 musicians. So the story is about my own life, and how I found the connection between myself as an individual and the world around me. It's told through the lens of music. Indeed, music is the substance by which the truest form of life can be experienced. The story is about my personal, most transformative performances and what led up to them. And now I'll talk a little bit about music never dies. Uh, so for this one, I want you to think about um, the MCU and how there's just more and more movies being made for the larger cinematic universe. So what is Music Never Dies? It's my, it's my goal to immortalize reality in its purest form. Um, there are friends here today who play themselves, and once they are part of this story, they essentially are canon to the cinematic universe that we're creating together. And my hope is that we can all tell more of our stories, and eventually, they can go on to tell their own stories without my goofy self involved in it. And the more we tell our stories, the less it becomes about me and the more it becomes about all of us. But it starts with me because, I mean, it has to start somewhere. Uh, music never dies where real life and art become one, a concept that has always fascinated me. So this today, this is my grad recital. It uh, has a couple of goals here. The first is to be provocative enough of a proof of concept to apply for grants, interest investors, and eventually have something that makes sense to crowdfund so I can perform this entire opera somewhere in the big city, man. Uh, the costs include reserving a concert hall, hiring a musician, a recording studio, etc. My second goal is to have a strong doctoral portfolio so when I apply to DMA program for composition, I can show a magic bitch and then uh, one day I'll be Dr. J. The next one is to create an artistic universe which intersects our own universe and provides a platform for artists to tell their stories. And finally, to tell my own story in this way. Um, you know, I like rap and hip hop music, but I'm a classically trained composer. Uh, recently, I wrote a piece for uh, Wind Ensemble here at Texas State. I had over 40 musicians. Uh, what I'm doing today is pretty much the most Jay thing I could have ever done with my life. And uh, it represents my life's work, which no matter how prolific and to what intensity music is created for this world, which I have titled, Music Never Dies, it will never be completed. But I have created a modern hip-hop opera titled Real Lies For Real Here, which exists as a complete convoluted story about my own life a work within this larger work. The goal is to tell the story while putting on a dope show. So, um, so who the heck, who the heck am I, man? Well, I'm a composer, producer, performer. Tonight, I'm the artist. Uh, my friends describe me as a dreamer, passionate, and I'm often accused of knowing a lot about music theory. I believe I'm doing something um, no one else has ever done or no one will ever be able to do, and that is to tell my own life story, to tell Jay's life story in the form of a hip hopper. So um, that's my spiel. You won't hear you won't hear any more lectures out of me tonight. 
Um, just a couple of little summaries about things that happen in between um, the, the scenes that we have prepared for you. So some logistical things, I expect a couple of, well, more than a couple of technical difficulties throughout the night. I expect at least one to be majorly catastrophic and or embarrassing. So what, what you see here is not a complete polished work. This is essentially a working machine prototype with all of the wires exposed. You'll see us reading some scripts, sound checking before some pieces, and taking some time to set up the stage. We didn't have a, t we didn't have a chance to run through the entire opera, so what you hear tonight is actually the first time we'll be performing it from top to bottom. Um, there's a lot of on-the-spot stuff going on. Those of you that were here during sound check know what I'm talking about. Um, Y'all see this coming in during sound check. So I ask that you suspend a little bit of disbelief and be patient with us, and if we take some time in between scenes to set, to set up and things, uh, I'll let you know when we're ready to start up again. So yeah, my final lecture of the night, um, to fill you in on what happened um, between the first scene and the third scene there, is I asked my mama for music lessons, and then uh, she, she made that intro slideshow, by the way, so we all like clap one time for my mama. Yeah. So, yeah, man, just thank you. Thank you so much for coming. It means so much to see uh, so many people that I care about here supporting me today. Um, you all have free tickets to the big show in two or three years when we perform this whole thing. I'll keep my word about that. Got my word on that. So, um, without further ado, this next scene is from my first football practice at um, Holy Cross High School. And I'm going to do that scene in second. Huddle up, bring it in. It's time to hear the methods of how we win. We don't hide our moves, let them know what we got. We line up and argue that we can't be stuck. Prepare all they want, we prove it futile. For our methods to succeed, we only ask of you one thing. Buy in, buy in. Stay nice, he said. I raised my hand. I had everyone's eyes. I was like, damn, what I do this time? Coach told the story of kids with icy white Adidas who gave this one fresh as shit for his old black boot Nike Adidas. Listen, he would say, y'all kids some mean little shit. That beat up fold of the black, sweet, Nike ass having kids didn't flinch when they looked at him sideways. He sized them up and smiled. These were my brother's kids, he said. And he's the best this place has ever seen. Or ever will see. They're good enough for him. They're good enough for me. And S, well, he was the fastest on the team, coach said. Outran every white meat wearing snot on the feet. That kid's Jay's dad. And like Coach Harrison said, black cleats are mandatory. Jay was just there thinking, why you have 
Hey, by the way, Alan, my original uh, headset microphone ran out of battery. I might go ahead and hand it to someone back here, or maybe we can get another one. I'll put it right here. Um, okay, so, man, let me say real quick, the, the staff that works here, man, they, they, really, they really went to bat for us at, at, up here, so I just, I just want to say I appreciate it. I appreciate all the help you got. I mean, look look at all the stuff we got up here, man. It's crazy. Uh, so, so thank you. Thank you, Makai, for Alan, Sarah, and the team, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. All right. So there's a scene right after that where my mom picks me up from practice, and I tell her I switched from guitar lessons to piano lessons. This next scene is me in my room. And I'm practicing piano and also learning how to record beats using my laptop. Thank you. 
going on. Earth turns, takes me along. Keeps going on. Earth turns, takes me along. It's Earth. And it takes me along, takes, takes me along. Now we head for the future. My existence is present, past is existential. Body gravitating, carbon based to the latest manifestation of conscious amalgamation of awareness all up in the flow. In and out your hands, round it goes and goes. The world you know and all. For more before it took for granted and had to wish for more. Spinning back and forth, the world you know, and all you hold falls in and out your hands. All the highs and lows to secure the same. I remember turning down, going out with my bros to compose some notes I throw away. When my head was in a different place and my heart was a different shape. Keeps going on, earth turns, takes me along. Keeps going on, earth turns, All right, so now a lot of time passes. I met a girl named Sam while we were on the way to rehearse for my school town show. She sees me Snapchatting my then girlfriend on the bus and then starts to make fun of me. After it skips about a year, Sam and I are at La Cantera in San Antonio and I took my parents to rent a car in the middle of the night um, only for them to come back early and find out I'm sorry, I'm like, uh, <laughs> Next, my friend Rob and I are hanging out before football practice and he plays me a uh, trap music, which basically is my realization that I really like hip hop. Um, I kind of liked it before, but I really liked it after he showed me a um, song. Uh, where's Ben at real quick? Ben out there? So then Coach Sadio gives us a rallying speech before uh, we face our rival, Austin Regents. Well, Sam and I start dating, and I perform at the talent show at Holy Cross, and then I try to quit football, but my parents don't want me to, so we get into a fight. Next, I play a song at St. Mary's through my music school. Excuse me, Holy Cross didn't have a music program, so I had to take um, lessons extracurricularly. Um, then Coach Sadio takes me out to lunch and convinces me to keep playing football. And that brings us to our next scene. Um, go ahead and talk into that a little bit. Um, guys.
game for us. Two breaks. Sammy. Sammy even saw us play. He wasn't at many games. We ran to the stands like we always had. Face masks and raised hands. Gold helmets pumping on beat. We proudly sang our fight song. Cheer, cheer for all we cry. Share victory, share the luck. Send the volley to our high. Take down the thunder from the sky. Whether it be odds, we pray to small, small, the Holy Cross to win over all, all, all her loyal sons and daughters. Let's have a victory. Fight, fight, fight. Coach Angel Sabil told us seniors something real. One last time. 25 years since Holy Cross with her humble numbers of Mexican kids from the west side of San Antonio. It had been 25 years since she saw semifinals and tonight we led her back together. And only we, the class of 17, really remember. But it took a 5A heavyweight to beat us that December. And it was close. Happy, humble, Holy Cross of San Antonio. A drum line rolling just 25 feet. Boys and girls, 200 students total. Half those boys played football, and I was no longer one of them. Walking off the field with my brother Rob, pride and pain, giving a damn for whence we came, some greater than ourselves. We made it so far. All of them. And they can never take us from here. I love you, Bob. I miss watching you. Last Sunday as a Holy Cross night on the field. 25 years as soon as we next met. I still remember all the things those cats meant to me and everything out there we left. My time at that school off San Felipe Ave on the west side of San Antonio had ended. I graduated second in a class of 50. I changed forever. Okay, so after that, I auditioned for music school by playing uh, uh, piano song. Then Sam and I are in my room the night before I leave to college. Uh, and with that, it brings us to Act 3, my undergrad. The opening scene is me saying goodbye to my family. The next scene is having my first music theory class with Dr. Dana Zenobi. Um, then Sam calls me. Sam calls me and breaks up with me because I'm really bad at communicating and had been pushing her away. It's very sad. Um, then I hesitantly call my parents to tell them I don't want to play football anymore. And they're supportive of me, tell me to do what makes me happy. So the next scene is performed. Um, so my undergrad used to have these, you know, I guess it would be called um, 
reach count is basically where, it's kind of like Somos here, where students will perform um, some songs for, for each other. And um, that's what this scene is right here. It's the musicale at um, our alma mater, Southwestern. And we're gonna go ahead and call a couple of my friends up to the stage to help me out with this one. Pants on the floor, walk down the road to the store, talking with Devin at 4 a.m. with Brian passed out on the sofa. So far gone. Asked for her number, but she gave me her snap. Ran fast so I wouldn't miss class and make the most of all that you have. Cause they don't stop coming and they never come back. We call it trick or treat cause every day was sweeter than the last. Staying up way too late, how you participate. In our quad, on our own, we're by each other's side. We get it, so you want another path. I'm here, walking mine too. It'll go so fast. Pam went to Auburn. He was my roommate, Cam to DC, sweet mate. I was kicking back, enjoying my life before I took everything so seriously, yeah. Looking back, Nostalgic. Life shaped up, unexpected. Aiden and Kev would say it's just a lie. It's just a lot, man. Don't overthink it. Pop said it'd be gone in the blink of an eye. Trevor graduated, said it's time for real life. Melanie sends a text once in a while to keep the memories living. Lost my ego with Teach and Gonzo lifted. Wasn't sure I'd make it through, stressing about a due date. It's time to decide what path to take and what world to make. Thank you. 
like I opened my eyes and realized this is my only life. My inner music, you feel like I found it. I don't need no one to tell me about it. Come in the spot, got the note on the page. All across campus, you see me busting, playing blues on the piano outside the washroom for Miss Ella. She be strutting. That's how I know this music I'm making gotta be for something. Shit was legendary, and the boys still reminisce with those Snapchat memories. Clay got married. Nakona's an architect, though we don't keep up much these days. Life goes its own way. time to time, reminding me that there's so much more to life.
desire for others. Your first to see why the Georgia Child community don't come to more parties. I'm glad you liked my song more than that. So, what's your name? Okay, so the scene that happened between that scene and the one we're about to play is that me and Sophia and I we go to a practice room and we have a little bit of banter to kind of get to know each other. There's not much time ultimately spent on piano proficiency in said practice room. But that's basically what will happen. Um that scene and this next one. So this next one, um, I think it was kind of like my late night Instagram post because I sent it to you. This is the one that is like really hard to set up. So if you could all give us one moment here. And this is where this whole shindig really picks up. So if we could um, have musicians and pieces Boys with these giant blue chairs on the couch back there, um, blue globe and your backpack. And yeah. uh, how, how far do you think we should be? Uh, hold this spot. Okay, if you can answer your question, it would have been worth this one. So everyone on that.
speaker. Testing. Gotcha. Whoa. Where's the beat? Ready? Hit it. I'm flying out of here. Hey. 
Mind so deep in the future, back to the future, ask for the future. 
picture they told the flower in the middle of a rain shower. We used to believe in the nation, so faith in escapable situations. Actually trying out with the stretch. What a way this takes hold of my breath. Sitting here right in my chest, evolving metamorphosis, flipping pain and hopelessness. I'm soul trapped in a bit. The unknown is pretty frightening. I got you, Tom, you got me, son. You have my back like I got yours. We rock it till kingdom coming from the slums. Far from rich, we will not be tricked. Our skin, we gon' conquer, load your instruments. Tools for battle, our voice will shatter your regiments. This is not pretend, you out or you in. No burger stand, can you hear me, man? Only a couple more miles of salvation. How long our grandma's been waiting to see one of their babies make it? The beginning, everybody, is what this is. The heavens calling your soldiers your only need. The address. The address. Prophecy. to appreciate y'all patience with our uh, thing we're doing here. So next I have a talk with Ben John and Sophia. We all have a little heart to heart about my decision to take a semester away and study in New York City, um, which is really tough because we're starting to build something with this town gain some momentum in um, recording her and figuring her kids out, you know, college and applying that sort of stuff. So I go to New York and then I go play a show at Rockwood Music Hall in Manhattan. It's one of the coolest shows of my life, probably the coolest show of my life up to this point. And afterwards, I walk outside and um, call Sophia. It starts raining and she breaks up with me because I haven't called her or told her anything about what I've been up to, as in she didn't even know that um, the show was that date type of deal. That was super sad. Um, and that brings us to this next scene when I fly back to uh, Texas. Soon, junior year concluded and Pat had moved on without me. I lost contact with Ben and John for about a year, needing to grow apart to grow together, falling out that hard to help us learn to love each other and focus on communication. We'd reunite by graduation. Maybe one day we can all tell our story. Hope so. The fear is gone. Except for the displeasure of attending some classes together, she was gone. Friends saw me through. One thing I learned in school, not everyone has dependable friends. Even fewer have families like that. We 
really give a damn. Suddenly, it was summer of both my super senior year. College kids called it a victory lap. It was my ninth semester, a freshly torn new one from COVID, but let's not go there right now. Austin open mics began to open back up. And I was like, damn, I can't take shit for granted, huh? So I walked on down to the Ivy House, just a block from my dorm, to try and hope Will, Aiden, and Ryan to come in with me. So I would not be on my own, cause the Georgetown Square had been the furthest my music had gone. So I barged my way into their home. Whoa! Oh, hey, Jay. All right, y'all. The Roots open mic on the Georgetown Square ain't gonna get us anywhere, you heard? Tonight's the night. I have scouted an open mic at a bar called the Speakeasy. Oh yeah? Where's it at? Well, let me tell you. A Congress in Austin. Y'all in a what? Fuck, I'm down. I'll even drive. Will? Okay, Jacob, I'm in. Hell yeah. Ryan. <laughs> oh, okay. I just worked at Accurate Movers for four hours. Let me shower real quick and we'll go. Oh, hell yeah. Let's do it. First open mic in Austin, baby. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Can you take these ones back? Can you take these ones back? Gotcha. Okay, so we go play an open mic. I land a feature spot at an open mic showcase. The man that runs it would be mad if he heard me call it open mic showcase. It was an invitation at this place called Mozart's Coffee Roasters in Austin, hosted by this sax player named Dan. Then I met a woman named Serenity. She introduces herself as a fellow artist, booker, and promoter. Don't worry, it's platonic as time. Um, <laughs> after that, I go back to Southwestern to finish my last semester. I'm in conducting class with Sophia, and we have this Harry Potter style conducting showdown. Man, how I wish I could have included that. Um, finally, we go to my undergrad recital, which is the forerunner to this hip opera, actually. My plan is to reorchestrate a piece from that very recital to be part of the opera, if I only had more time. This brings us to act four, post-grad. It starts in the summer of 2022 with me telling my parents that I'm going to live with my friends in Austin with Will and Aiden and Ryan for the summer. Um, I get a call from Serenity and she asks me to play in her show. I am so excited. It's my first um, real show in Austin type deal. Um, so I'm going to set this one up um, right now. Um, Put it back here. 
this composer, performer, more than a purple chord in this world we do. My friends got me to break up depression and showing love with me through online connection. Three of one on Chicago and Austin, an hour of self-produced beats out my back pocket. I'm headed for greatness to modulate the expectation and resolve upon the key that unlocks it. That went over your head. Come back to Earth instead. It's all about consistency. You see, I'm unorthodox. I let my music talk. I kept on composing, though they set us up. I had no precedent except Hamilton. Why my style is revolution like Manuel Lynn. I'll be the evolution of Jay from yesterday. Like Abracadabra to Alec, is damn not the trade. And the world don't give a damn about you after all. So do all you can in order to make life magical. Low destination, half manifold. No matter where you're from, somewhere you shall go. Temperature, supernova, vibrance, else music degrees on these streets don't bat eyelids. The rare case of theory brain and MC's heart is saturated market. Well, why won't no one buy my art? Regardless, learn from life so as not to forget. Every day growing ways, train ears can't predict. Statistically, 1%, 100 power, 0.1%. Melt in your face like a Texas summer. I'm making your eardrums play each other. I'll tune the moon and reshape its orbit. I'll find myself before I know it and fragment my mind into infinite components. set up um, American Native Fauna for our next our next performance here. Um, everyone with their hands up here for the moment. Yes, 
Finally, get all this stuff out of the way. Um, you have one thing. Just a little keyboard. Just. Someone, someone, someone that works. <laughs> David. Jay Nava, hot as lava. Hey man, we have a gig at WTF Ice House next week. On 6th Street? That's dope, bro. Oh, thanks, my promo safety. Wanna play a couple of songs with us? Can you use some peace? Aw, oh, hell yeah, let's make it happen.
So we skip to fall of 2022. This will be my first semester of uh, school here at Texas State. Uh, that's when I have a conversation with comp composition professor, uh, Dr. Jack Wild. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I that now. I almost had you play yourself. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we have my very first lesson. I'm fresh grad student. Come to him all starry-eyed about my first, uh, about my plan to compose a hip-hop opera. Then I go off about my journey uh, learning about opera. And uh, you should you should have seen it. I was like, he was like, well, have you ever seen an opera? And I was like, good point. <laughs> so so the, I, I, I took a little bit of time to um, study some some opera there, and um, I go off for a little minute, and then at some point I'm like, but I I am sick of myself already. Can I please get my beautiful band? Yeah, can I please get my beautiful band uh, World Regimented Stage? And then uh, in in my mind they all walk up and then we just we just hop right into it uh, right after that scene with uh, Dr. Wild there, but. Um, here today, we're gonna take a little minute to, to get ourselves going. Uh, Cause we got. I'm, I just I've seen it in my head a lot, so it's like here, here is crazy. Uh, okay. Um, we all doing any sound and stuff? Y'all got a tune or something? I, I got PTSD because my undergrad recital, I forgot to let them tune. So we played, <laughs> we played the whole thing all janky. That was healing. I just want you guys to know. Yeah. 
lying down on his last couple weeks. I'm about three years old and by his side. Then my dad comes in, then my dad comes in, and he says, we're going home, Jake. Wait in the car with your mama while I say bye to your uncle. And I say, okay, Papa. See you later, Gio. And he goes. I love you too. And I leave to go hang out with mama in the car. My dad says, hey, Amy, it was good to see you, brother. My uncle says, hey, daddy, I want you to promise me something. Anything for you, brother. My dad says, Amy. I know your show, J Sports, you do that. That's important. But promise me you'll show him music too. You know, show him the power of or something. I can do that, Amy. I promise. I love you, brother. Says my dad. 
And he says, thanks, buddy. I love you and your son. Right now, I say, well, I love both of you too, and my mama, and I love you, and all my family, and friends, and teachers, and thank you, and to music, the greatest teacher of all. I love you, thank you, and let's go do it. so much for coming out, man. It's been, it's been, um, it's been very humbling to stand here before you and uh, manifest my dreams before your eyes when I see so many people that I, I really care about here tonight. And uh, it just, it just takes my breath away, man. Thank you very much. Thank you so much again.